Many clubs try to jump into these opportunities. Many clubs try to uh, jump into this uh, potential deer for Gabriel Jesus. So it was not only Arsenal, but they have been very good. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel from Fabrizio Romano. Many things happening on the market, even if it's uh, weekend, even if it's um, crazy hours with many things going on for many clubs, it's time for many and many updates for all the latest. And so let's jump into it together. And so guys, important day for Arsenal and Manchester City fans. Many things happening with these two clubs. And let me start with an important signing that is getting closer and closer for Arsenal. This man, Gabriel Jesus, because after a long negotiation, and I told you here many times how Arsenal were working on this Gabriel Jesus deal. And let me say that I will have to do a new video once it's completed, because really many clubs try to jump into these opportunities. Many clubs try to... Uh, jump into this uh, potential deal for Gabriel Jesus. So it was not only Arsenal, but they've been very good with Edu Gaspar, the Brazilian director, and so the connection with Gabriel is pretty obvious, but also Mikel Arteta, the manager who wanted him. So Arsenal have been very good in reaching an agreement, a full verbal, is not signed yet, but verbal agreement with uh, Manchester City for Gabriel Jesus. An agreement reached on Friday afternoon after a meeting between the two boards, a direct meeting when they reached an agreement for 45 million pounds. This is the fee for Gabriel Jesus. Now, uh, one step away from joining Arsenal. Why I say one step away? Because they are now discussing with the agents of Gabriel Jesus on the personal terms, some of the final details. From what I'm told, it will be a five-year contract, but they need to clarify some detail before it's a uh, here we go, but we are really at the end of this story with Arsenal closing on Gabriel Jesus Top one, really, after Fabio Vieira, 40 million, 35 plus 5 in add-ons. Now, for Gabriel Jesus, 45 million pounds guaranteed fee. And so Gabriel, one step away from joining Arsenal, top one. But for Manchester City, guys, it's important to say that there is a new signing. After Erling Haaland, is now time for the new midfielder, Calvin Phillips. If you're following the channel, guys, yesterday I told you in the video... Uh, get ready because Manchester City are working on Calvary Phillips. They want to complete this deal and now it's time to say that it's done. It's a here we go for Calvin Phillips from Leeds United to Manchester City. Let me mention Paris Saint-Germain had a contact with Calvin Phillips agents, but also other English clubs uh, tried to explore this deal even with proposals that were way better than Manchester City proposal to Leeds, but Leeds had to accept Man City proposal because Calvin Phillips was pretty clear with Manchester City and with all the other clubs. He only wanted to play with Pep Guardiola. So for Leeds, there was no choice. Only Manchester City proposal to accept. 42 million pounds guaranteed fee plus add-ons to arrive to a potential package close to 50 million pounds, depends on the add-ons, of course, but it's done. Calvin Phillips will sign his contract with Manchester City very soon. It's a done deal. He wanted to uh, join only City. He will work with Pep Guardiola. He will be the replacement for Fernandinho. And now, next top target for City, left back, top priority, Mark Cucurella the left back of Brighton. Man City are preparing an official proposal since long time and now it will be time to enter into it after selling Gabriel Jesus and let's see what happens with Sterling and Chelsea. Then guys, I wanted to mention the situation of Rafinha because many Arsenal fans, Tottenham fans, Chelsea fans, Barcelona fans are asking me on Rafinha. Guys, on Barcelona side, still no fresh proposal and it seems really unlikely for Barca to match the price tag Leeds are asking 65 million pounds. This is the price tag for President Radrizzani and Director Victor Orta on Rafinha. So for Barca at the moment, they want to offer around 40 million euros, but is way less than what Leeds are asking for their boy. And so on Rafinha was the situation. Barcelona have an agreement with the player, but not yet with Leeds. No fresh proposal yet. I say yet because never say never in football, but at the moment, no fresh proposal from Barca. Then English clubs, Arsenal, opening bid has been targeted down but Arsenal are still working on Rafinha it's not only Gabriel Jesus it's also Rafinha on Arsenal list so they are trying and pushing and trying to find a solution and I expect them to push and push again next week that could be crucial for this Rafinha deal Tottenham they are really interested in Rafinha they are discussing with Leeds of a potential verbal proposal so also Tottenham are in the race also Tottenham want Rafinha I understand that Antonio Conte is big fan of the player but at the same point they know there is a really complicated deal with many 
clubs into it. So Tottenham and Arsenal, both clubs don't want to pay crazy money. They want to pay right money and they don't want to enter into a bidding war. This is why at the moment all the talks are verbal on Tottenham's side and Arsenal made an opening proposal, a written proposal in that case, but still uh, not agreed with Leeds. So Arsenal and Tottenham on it. Chelsea had some contacts with the agents of Rafinha and with Leeds, but they want to offer players into the deal and Leeds are looking for cash at the moment, so this is why it's not easy, and also let me mention that for Chelsea the priority is Raheem Sterling. On Rafinha, guys, let me mention that next week is going to be really important, and that Tottenham are also following the situation of Richarlison. So both Rafinha and Richarlison on Tottenham list, Gabriel Jesus and Rafinha on Arsenal list, with Gabriel Jesus, as I mentioned, uh, really close, one step away from joining Arsenal from Manchester City. And then, guys, a quick one on centre-backs, because Sven Botman will join Newcastle, it's a done deal after a long battle with AC Milan, despite some denials from Italy, is a done deal with Newcastle, guys. He joins Newcastle on a five-year contract, medical next week, is done and completed, so Newcastle will pay 37 million euros with some add-ons, and so everything is done for Newcastle to sign Sven Botman, really top, top signing after Nick Pope, after Target, they're doing a very good job on the market, so Sven Botman to Newcastle, it's a here we go, and then mentioning centre-backs, let me say that for Matthijs De Ligt, there is a concrete interest from Chelsea, he is one of the names they have in the list, we know that Kunde has always been part of this list, but still no proposal, Sevilla wants 65 million euros, and for De Ligt, let's see what happens with Juventus, I will keep you posted tomorrow, but De Ligt is part of Chelsea list for sure. And then, guys, to complete our episode on centre-backs, Lisandro Martinez, the centre-back of Ajax, because for Timber the deal is getting really complicated, and so Arsenal want Lisandro Martinez, they had new contacts with his agent after an opening bid turned down by Ajax, but at the moment still no fresh bid, but Arsenal are on it. Arsenal want Lisandro Martinez, but also Manchester United mentioned his name internally. So Lisandro is one to watch for the coming weeks, Ajax want around 45, 50 million euros for Lisandro Martinez. Let me say that Ajax are negotiating to sign Windal as new left back, so when Windal could be the next signing for Ajax and also guys for centre backs. Keep an eye next week on Milan Skriniar and Paris Saint Germain, because Paris Saint Germain are still absolutely keen on Milan Skriniar. And so, guys, many things are happening on the market, as you can see, many and many news. Let me know your thoughts on all these stories. Here in the comments, guys, remember to subscribe to the channel. It's a crazy summer, guys, and I'm here to update you. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you're not gonna miss any video like this video. And see you soon with Fabrizio Romano.